working with those shapes that I downloaded, or not the shapes that I downloaded, the logos that I downloaded. Um, when you're going to work with each one of them, I want you to create a new document, and you're going to have just the common layout, the common um, height and width that we've been using for all the other projects. I'm going to hit Create. It's going to create. That's a preview there. So now when we're looking at this one, um, we're doing the graphic, but we're only going to use part of the screen only because I want to have a before and an after. So we're going to have part of the screen, this left-hand side or the right-hand side, I don't care which side you use, is going to be where we're doing our tracing. And then after we get all done, we're going to move those paths over to the right-hand side or to the opposite side so we can see the difference between the starting picture and the ending picture. So what I have here is I've created a new image. I'm going to go up here to File and down to Place. And Place will give us the ability to use one of those images. Let's see, here's the eagle off my desktop. I hit Place. And I can draw this. I can draw it as big as I want. I'm just going to keep it about half of the screen. And just going to put that in there. So that is, again, in File, Place. Just lets us give put our image, place our image into the... Uh, um, into the background there. So when I hit lock on this layer, that will not allow anything to happen uh, for the rest of the, uh, the time we're working with this on this specific layer. So it's going to stay right there. Um, I'm going to create a new layer. And each one of these, um, so layer two, I might double click on it and type in the background. And my background, in this case, would be the black back here. Might create another layer uh, for the white, call it the feathers, the yellow or the gold here, call it beak. Um, but then when we get done with that, let me go over here so I can show you one that I've already been working on. So here is the, uh, the eagle. Lock that one. Um, if I turn on the the layer on the outside there, the black layer, you can see that I traced around it. I have my path. It's already been completed. I have all the anchor points. So I have all my anchor points along there. Um, so I did that one. If I come back out and I turn on the uh, the white layer, which would be the feathers, I, I chose a, a specific... Um, fill color and stroke color for each one of these just so they would uh, be a little bit different than the thing uh, that I was tracing from below so I could see the difference. Um, so there's that. And if I, uh, if I turn off this one, you can see that it covers the, uh, the feathers. It's a little bit off because I moved some stuff around. Um, but for the most part, it would be right there. We're going to look at the other... Um, at the rest of the, the image as well, um, the other images, uh, to kind of come up with a plan. You have to come up with a plan before you start tracing. Sometimes you can work on it um, on, the, on the fly, uh, but uh, sometimes it'll help to come up with those ideas beforehand. Um, so here the eye and the little beak path, and there's the yellow uh, for the, uh, the little piece right there. Um, so I did eye and face marks. Because those two pieces, um, on the original one, uh, they were there. But when you trace the black, and these are part of the black as well, it, if you do the white, the white kind of sits on top of the background, the black background, and it doesn't let this part show through. So I just made another layer that's up higher on the line uh, so I could use my face marks here and the eye. There's my white layer. Here's my background layer, and then I have a gold layer, the beak. I traced it like that. Um, so each one of these things, uh, let, me, let me show you how I did one of these. I'll, I'll redo the beak here, so that way it's a whole new layer. I'm going to turn off everything else, and I'm just going to be up here on layer 6. I'm going to call it beak. And I want to go to my properties, my pen tool, 
and I'm going to choose a fill color of maybe this red. I'm going to do a stroke color of like a tealy color blue. And now it's, it's going to look like this as I'm filling it in. I want to also change the opacity. So I'm not doing a full color because I can't see anything behind that. So I want to make sure that I am um, and working on the outside here. I also am going to use the caps lock key because I like that cross to be able to see exactly where I'm drawing. So if I click in here, click and hold, and again, we're just working with uh, some skills of learning how to use some of these uh, different parts of the pen tool. And again, we're doing long curves. And it doesn't look like my uh, opacity held. So I'm going to come back over here again and hit 50. Oh, because I deleted the old one and started again. Um, use my option key to adjust this so it's at the right spot. There we go. A um, little of a bit of a wiggle there. Whoa, there we go. Yes, yes, you're going to recolor the, instead of being just shapes that we found on the internet or from one of the document softwares, uh, we're going to use, whoa, see I'm so far zoomed in I can't see what I'm looking at. Let me see. There we go. I'm going to adjust this thing now. And so this one's going to have to go up this way. Up like that. Yeah, just a little. So basically, I'm just tracing this thing again, just like I did before, coming through here, little by little. It's off a little bit. Let's move this thing back up here. There it is. So I traced it like that. So now this is the new beak. And you can see that if I didn't trace those face marks, that they would be behind uh, the scenes there. So this is the, if I want to right now, I could change the color to something different, um, change the stroke, something different, give my opacity back up to 100%. That way I can see exactly what I'm looking at um, on there. Yep, so what I would do uh, for the eye and the face mark and stuff like that, I would actually turn this one off, make a new layer, zoom back in, and then with a different, it, you can leave the same stroke color or whatever. You're going to change it again later at the end, but um, I would click up here and start drawing this one. Because it's on a different layer, above the other one, when I turn it on, now it shows up. And so if I changed... Because I still have this one as the selected one, I could change this to um, black, um, change maybe the stroke to black as well, uh, just so it sticks out just a little bit better. Okay, so that's how we do that part. And then I think we had a question about the uh, reselecting something or adding fill color after the fact. So if I, uh, if I wanted to go back to these other layers, if I click on the white layer here, which is the feathers, um, if I click on it, I can I can select that layer, and I can go back and change the fill color this way. This gives us the ability to um, change it to anything that we would like. We can change um, any of the colors and make sure that we're doing uh, this e exactly the way we're supposed to for the assignment. So, and. One thing that we had a question about recoloring stuff, if you look at this, you see how I changed this one yellow and the bottom one is still brown right there? 
it's all part of the same layer, but it's not necessarily part of the, the same path. And so because it's not the same path, it's not going to color the same. Um, in order to select all parts of this layer, I have to hold down Option and then click on the, the little image here. What that'll do is that'll let me select everything and then I can select a different color and it selects all the colors now. So um, hopefully that helps with selecting uh, parts, parts of the path. But after you are all complete, you've completed everything, I want you to turn on all the layers so you can see exactly um, what you've selected and what you've traced. I want to click shift and option together clicking on each one of these things will select all the paths and then I can drag my eagle if I zoom out far enough I can drag my eagle over here and I have this new eagle I have the original one and then this is when uh, this is the assignment you're going to turn in right here and so we want to make sure that we have all the paths uh, from the tracing that we did and the original uh, image side by side. So we went through the, f the process of creating a new file, used file place to put your image on half of the screen. Uh, we did a new layer for each of the different colors. And it matters what order they go in. The lower on the level, on, on the uh, layer level here, the lower ones are on the back of the image and as you go up higher they're closer to the user closer to you on the on the layers um, i showed you how to change the fill stroke and opacity of all of the different uh, layers as you're coloring those things in um, i also walked through the process of tracing all of those parts um, I, I did the beak as the demo um, we selected the path by holding down option and clicking on the layer icon here and it selects that specific path. Um, if you hold shift and option together, you can select all four of those new layers and you're going to drag over here, make sure they're all colored and then we do a, a new in the original side by side and we're going to save that as a SVG file, scalable vector graphic file. And then that gets turned in uh, for grading. If you have any questions, let me know.